Hi, we're Mew. Let's music at KK Box. The first time we played in Taiwan, I remember that it was, I was struck by how warm it was. Um, I can't remember what time of year, but I, I walked out of the hotel and I got lost. And I wandered around the city and, uh, and it was just really nice. People are so friendly and uh, I really enjoyed being here. And uh, the show was just such a surprise because it was the first time we played here. And there was a lot of people and they seemed to know all the songs. So that was pretty amazing. There's a bunch of, of things we did on this album we haven't really done before. Like we we invited some people over for the writing session. Uh, a guy called Russell Lissack who plays for Block Party. Uh, he came over, spent a few days with us, and we wrote a song with him. Usually we, we write everything just in the band, and then we have people play on it maybe afterwards. But this was like a, the first songwriting collaboration like that. Well, we... Um we did a song as well called The Night Believer and um, on that song we, we have a guest appearance uh, by a female singer called uh, Kimbra. I don't know if you know her in Taiwan but she's really cool. And I happen to know that she did play Taiwan at least once so, so I think you must know her here. Yeah, I mean it's actually also my favorite new song. If I have to pick one I always pick Comforting Sounds. Um, I think it's just, it just has that really sort of uh, epic quality to it and it, it's almost like a, it has a universal quality as well I think it's just it has a big emotional content in it that strikes a key with many people um, I, I the way the way we wrote it was was um, back in our little practice space and we kind of wrote it the way we always do you know it was just we started out with a very small idea and, 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 and gradually it grew into something bigger. And, you know, that whole sort of explosion at the end of the song, I, I, don't, I can't remember why we did that, but we were always, we were always influenced by, by, by bands who, who, who had that element of, you know, having quiet music and then boom, you know, come in with something really dynamic. So I guess we wanted to try and see if we could do something that was just you know, that would sort of shock people a little bit and be very sort of grand. Obviously, we spend a lot of time on music, but uh, I think, um, you know, obviously our family it means a lot, but, but just silly things. I love uh, football, you know, uh, I watch the Premier League a lot, the English Premier League. I know that people in Taiwan do that as well. Uh, I'm a Chelsea fan, major Chelsea fan. All right. Come on, you blues! <laughs> I'm more of a nerd, really. I don't, I don't even have a driver's license. Um, I like animation and stuff like that. I like movies. I like books. Um, I like traveling a lot, which we get to do a lot of, which I'm very grateful. That's one of the great things about being in this band, I think. Yeah, I, I guess that's kind of it.